Yeah, it was, it was on the phone. Um, wasn't wasn't face to face. Um, I ended up meeting with Booney. Came over. Aaron Boone came to my home uh, throughout the process. Had a few calls with some of the guys on the team. A few texts with some guys on the team. Um, but yeah, me and Cashman kind of hashed out uh, whatever it was that we had from a few years ago. We kind of laughed about it. And, and we moved on. He let me know how interested he was in me as a pitcher. Um, thought that I was someone who would kind of thrive in the lights and the pressure. And I thought it was a perfect fit. Who were some of the other guys that reached out to you? Yeah, I talked to Judge, Cole. Uh, I talked to Volpe a bit, Rizzo. Um, and then, yeah, obviously Cash and Booney, mainly. So I'm I'm just excited to learn from 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 guys like Gary Cole, who's been one of the greats in the game, Rodone, who's been elite for many years, um, Nestor, who's a guy who kind of messes messes around with timing, Clark Schmidt is a guy with a ton of upside who's got incredible stuff. So as far as the staff, it's it's going to be, I think we have one of the better staffs out there, and it's just going to be the ability to share knowledge between each other and kind of learn and adapt. I'm, I'm just excited for all that. Hey, Marcus, you mentioned the thing from a few years ago when the Yankees didn't trade for you. What did you need to hear from Cashman? How did you guys clear that up? It was quick, man. It was quick, you know. It was the, we literally laughed about it, you know. He he, he let me know his his quick little piece um, about how it didn't necessarily come out is essentially how he wanted it to. He let me know that I was someone who, he thought was always going to be a good competitor, someone who could handle the lights, someone who thrived in the pressure. And that was kind of the ultimate draw. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not someone who shies away from the limelight or pressure or the lights. I think a lot of guys would avoid avoid coming to New York and, and playing for the Yankees because because of that reason. And I'm someone who, like I said, I feel like it, it brings out the best in me. So I'm looking forward to this opportunity. I think Cash is is kind of right there um in agreement with me as far as he thinks it's going to be um a good situation for the both of us and yeah i'm just excited i'm excited obviously i grew up from long island i grew up going to yankee games and and to be able to put on the pinstripes that's that's something we all dream about as kids so i can't wait man the new york fans are the most you know uh passionate fan groups probably in the world you know like i said i grew up there i'm from there i understand that um playing there it's 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 all about your performance and and how you come on the field and like i said i'm someone who i feel like the pressure and the lights it, it brings out the best of me so i'm excited i'm excited to feel the energy of, of new york yankee the the crowd the buzz i think my start days is something that i'm getting chills kind of thinking about looking forward to so yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait because I, I know the pressure and the lights that it comes with. And like I said, I'm someone that um, I only feel like I thrive in those moments. Yeah, that's a misunderstood for sure. You know, um, in what ways? That's that's another reason why I'm excited to to, to be a Yankee. You know, I think people will have a, a, a different view of me after my tenure here. I don't think Cash, I don't think Booney, I don't think Judge would, would want me to be a part if they didn't know my character and how I was as a teammate. Yeah, yeah, I, I do think the best is still in me. So like you said, um, sometimes when, when, when you have those those moments in that city and that buzz and that energy and, and that pressure, it brings out a, a different animal. So I'm, I'm excited for that possibility. My body's in, in incredible um, I'm shape now. I battled a few injuries at the, at the end of last year. But I mean, at the beginning of last year, I, I think I was one of the best pitchers in baseball. So when I'm healthy, I would put myself as one of the best pitchers up in baseball, always in the game. And like I said, I feel healthy. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. My body's in the best position it's been. And I'm just excited to honestly just go out there and compete at this point. Yeah, I mean, I, I get the chills thinking about my first start in Yankee Stadium, to be honest with you. Um, I think kids not even only from New York. I think kids worldwide growing up just dream about being in the pinstripes or playing for the Yankees, you know? So, um yeah, it's hard to put into words. It's something that I can't wait to feel, to be honest with you, in the moment. And obviously to have my family there, for them to be able to drive from from back home and to have kind of the people from my childhood be able to be there and present. It's just like kind of just puts like a lot of emotions, um, a lot of different emotions 
uh, kind of comes to the surface. So I can't wait, man. I can't wait. It's hard for me to, I'm someone who pitches off kind of the energy and, and the buzz of a crowd. So uh, I can't wait for those those days on, on, on my start day. Yeah, I mean, I think we're we're capable of definitely having a, a, a deep October run. You know what I mean? That's obviously the goal. That's why we play this game is to 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 win championships and to go deep into October. And I think obviously, I think this team is definitely capable of adding adding Soto to this lineup. Uh, I've talked about Soto openly in the past before. I, I arguably I think he's the best hitter in baseball. I think him and Judge are arguably one two. Um, top three, four, five guys in baseball, you know what I mean? Depending on how you want to, depending on how you want to cut it. But judges, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful to be judges teammate. If I, if I take judges numbers out against my numbers in my career, I'd probably have like a lot closer to a three probably ERA to be honest with you. So it's good to have him on my side and then competing against Soto, man. I mean, He's incredible. I mean, I've I've faced some 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 good hitters, man, but I always tell everyone that Soto's the best hitter I've ever faced.